Fossilmobile was Canada's first successful gasoline engine automobile, built in 1897 in Sherbrooke, Quebec. This is my grandfather's invention. It's a Canadian first that very few Canadians know much about, and we felt it was important to get that story told. And so the build of the tribute car is primarily to help tell that story. Ron Foss believes the project is important for Canadians, but also for his family. It's part of our family heritage. I mean, it's something that, uh, that we talked about as kids often. Uh, my father and I used to tour around parts of the Eastern Townships and around Montreal, stopping at garages and sheds, hoping we would find it someday. There was many conversations with my grandfather about how he went ahead and built this thing. The original Fossilmobile has never been found, and no blueprints of it exist. This facsimile is being built solely through examination of enhanced 19th century photographs. A few years ago where I said, if he could do it with virtually nothing or very little to go from, surely today we could replicate it in a way that could bring it back to life. We have old photographs that help tell the story and we were very lucky in finding some very period correct parts, which has made this exercise much easier. Your grandfather was born in 1876 and you were lucky enough to have some time with him. He passed away when you were 14. What kind of person was he like? What do you most remember about him? <laughs> he was a very, very quiet, uh, very subdued individual. I get asked many times, you know, did he regret not building the car or, or commercializing it in some way? He had opportunities to do so. Uh, he'd met Ford on a couple of occasions. He couldn't see or have the vision to know whether or not it was going to you know, continue uh, because they scared horses, they got stuck in the mud. Uh, you know, there's no muffler on this thing, so you can imagine it made a fair amount of noise. But he never had any regrets. He lived a very quiet, peaceful life. He said many times, you don't grow to the age of 80 or 90, and he died at 92, having the corporate pressures of a big organization. The project has been a labor of love for Ron. It's basically been a full-time job, researching and investigating potential parts, drumming up publicity and monetary support from a GoFundMe page and corporate sponsorships, and he's also overseeing the build by the legendary motor car company in Ontario. These guys are the best. I shopped around a few different locations and to try to find somebody who really understood vehicles of this vintage was not easy. Jason, who is the master craftsman on this particular project, he understands the history, he understands how each component part worked together, and so where the customized parts had to be made, he's made them to the exact specifications that, that we could have possibly asked for. On first glance, I can't imagine actually uh, going for a ride in this because the safety would be of uh, my biggest concern. But what was the expectation back when your grandfather built this of how far this car could travel? He drove it actually very successfully for four years in and around Sherbrooke. And if you know Sherbrooke, it's a pretty hilly city. And he had no difficulty with the hills. It went about 14 or 15 miles an hour. Uh, he drove it back and forth to Montreal twice. He got a ticket in Montreal for driving on the sidewalks in the wintertime because the, the merchants would clear the sidewalks and the horses and sleighs would use the road. So he drove on what was cleared and got a ticket for being on the sidewalk. And what is the ultimate goal once the replica of the Fossilmobile is completed? We hope to show it in three or four major venues around Canada. But the ultimate goal is to place it into the Canadian Automotive Museum in Oshawa. What do you think your grandfather would say about this project? I mean, I think he'd be flabbergasted. Again, he was an individual who was fairly soft-spoken, fairly quiet, uh, never looked for the limelight himself. My father's a different story. He'd be over the moon. He and I talked many times about hoping to find the original. So the notion of being able to build something that looked like the original, he'd be pretty excited about. Mike Arsenault, Global News.